I am Dr. Sharjeet and you are watching my YouTube channel. Today I am showing you this 16 years old female patient who presented with diplopia. When I examined her, her right eye as you can see is not able to abduct. So I diagnosed her with a case of right sixth nerve palsy. Now with the help of pen I am asking her that in which gazes she is uh, weaving double images. So first uh, she is just telling me and now I am asking her to touch the tip of the pen. So that's the one image and the other, with the other finger she is telling me that she is seeing the tip. Now in a primary gaze I am asking her to touch the tip of the pens. So that's the false double image and now she has touched the actual pen now in a superior in a primary up gaze she is viewing just one image so see she just touched one actual tip now in the left gaze as you can see both eyes are aligned so there is no diplopia in the left gaze now here again now in this gaze she is telling that uh, the two images they are most far apart and with the help of two fingers she is touching the tips of the pen and the pens are parallel they are not up and up and down so it also tells us that in a for uh, in a six nerve palsy there is horizontal diplopia you are seeing an actual patient and now in the right gaze she is telling us that where she is weaving the tips of the pen and now in the right up gaze she is touching uh, now with two fingers she is telling us about the tips of the two pen she is seeing. So and now I asked her that in which gaze the maximum separation she, she, she thinks is and she said the down and out gaze in the down and out gaze. Once again I am showing you the six nerve right six nerve paralysis. So now we will plot uh, the findings of this patient and you will see how to plot the diplopia chart so in primary position there is diplopia horizontal diplopia so you have to draw two arrows alongside now in the right gaze the separation increased and in the right and down gaze the separation was maximum so we have to show the maximum distance between the two in the right and down position in the right and up the separation was not that much in primary up position separation was uh, there was a single image in the down primary and down position again there was diplopia but the pens were near to each other in the left gaze patient was a viewing single pen so that's how you plot diplopia in actual patient thank you very much